Hello friends, I'm Sadish back again with another video. After the independence in 1947, two great visionaries of India, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai and Dr. Homi Jahangir Baba, known for establishing two most successful organizations in India. Their efforts has positioned India in the top nations list in terms of technological developments. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai was considered as the father of India's space program and he was one of the greatest scientists of India and also an innovator, industrialist and visionary. He played a major role in the creation of Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad. Dr. Homi Jahangir Baba was considered as the father of India's nuclear science program who also helped Dr. Vikram Sarabhai on his ventures. Senior scientist Dr. Arvamudan and Dr. Abdul Kalam also helped Dr. Vikram Sarabhai setting up the first rocket launching station in Tumba, named Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station. In 1947, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai returned to independent India from Cambridge University after receiving the doctorate degree for cosmic ray investigation in tropical latitude. And at the age of 28, with the help of his family and friends, he established the Physical Research Laboratory in Ahmedabad on November 11, 1947. The later Physical Research Laboratory got support from the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and the Department of Atomic Energy. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai visualized India's need for the space research program and how it can help the national development, how it can help the common citizen in disaster management, communication, satellite communication, banking and finance and so many other things depend upon the satellite technology in the modern world. Just imagine the difficulties these people faced in the initial stage during 1950 to 1960 because we had no facilities in the initial stage of independence. The turning point which led the creation of Indian Space Research Program was the International Geophysical Year. The International Geophysical Year 1957 to 1958 was the largest international field research program ever undertaken. On October 4, 1957 at the International Geophysical Year, Russia successfully launched the first artificial satellite Sputnik. The Indian program for the International Geophysical Year had been one of the most significant ventures of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai was highly motivated by the Soviet Union Sputnik and he successfully convinced then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru of the importance of a space program for a developing country like India. After getting the approval from the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, INGUSBOR, Indian National Committee for Space Research, was formed under the Department of Atomic Energy in 1962 and made him as the chairman of the institution. Being the chairman, chairman of INGUSBOR, and it was Dr. Vikram Sarabhai's responsibility, he is to choose an ideal place for setting up the space station by calculating magnetic equator, low altitude, etc. And then he found out Tumba is the ideal place for setting up space station. Tumba is situated on the coast of Arabian Sea near Thiruvananthapuram. When he went there, he found out St. Mary Madeleine Church. Since the budget was very limited, he requested the father of church to help by providing this place for a uh, space station. The kind father accepted Dr. Vikram Sarabhai's request and gave the church for the space station. The main hall of the church used for the research and development laboratory for the Ingos Bar. The journey of ISRO started from the small church and then grown sky level. At that time, there was no canteen facilities available in the church. Breakfast, lunch, dinner all used to come in the train for the scientists. Presently, this church is used as a space museum and it's quite interesting to go and see the old memories of it all started in 1960s. At the initial stage, sounding rockets were carried in bicycle for launching. These are the testing rockets. to check the place is ideal for rocket launching so that further planning will be done in a better way after a remarkable effort in setting up the infrastructure personal communication links and launch pads the inaugural flight was launched on november 21 1963 with sodium vapor payload in 1969 the ingusbar was converted into indian space research organization after the sudden death of dr homi jahangir baba in a plane crash Dr. Vikram Sarabhai was made the chairman of Atomic Energy Commission of India in 1966 and he remained the chairman of AEC till he passed away in his sleep on 31st December 1971. As a result of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai's dialogue with NASA in 1966, 
the satellite instructional television experiment site hailed as the largest sociological experiment in the world has been launched during 1975 to 76 and the project was designed jointly by isro and nasa although the program was launched when dr vikram sarabhai was no more the project was made available informational television programs to rural india the main objectives of the ex- experiment were to educate the poor people of india on various issues via satellite broadcasting and also help india gain technological experience in the field of satellite communication dr vikram sarabhai started a project for the fabrication and launches of an indian satellite named after the mathematician aryabhatta as a result of it the first indian satellite aryabhatta which was launched by russia on 19th april 1975 in 1980 rohini became the first satellite to be placed in the orbit by an engine made launch vehicle slv subsequently india has developed so many launching vehicles such as aslv pslv gslv gslv mark 3 and they carry different payloads between 40 kg to 10000 kg on 15th february 2017 ISRO has scripted world record by sending 104 satellites in a single rocket launch PSLV-37 to different orbits. Satellites from different countries such as Netherlands, Kazakhstan, US were launched. Among them, 96 of those satellites were from US. By this launch, PSLV has proved that ISRO is capable of multiple launches because many of these satellites were released in different orbits. By this launch, ISRO has tapped the commercial market for launch of micro and nano satellites. Because nowadays even small colleges want to launch their own satellites. PSLV has been considered as the most successful launch vehicle of ISRO because all the important missions has been launched from PSLV such as Chandrayaan, Mars Orbiter Mission, IRNSS, Navy satellites. On 5th June 2017, ISRO has introduced the muscular launch vehicle GSLV Mark 3. Now the foreign reliance has been stopped for launching heavy satellites. Now heavy satellites can be launched by ISRO. All these efforts became successful because many top scientists were worked on the cryogenic engine fuel for more than 25 years to bring the dream into reality. In the world, space agencies like NASA, SpaceX and Blue Origin or making all the noise now isro ranked fifth in the world the indian space research organization is a name that draws respect in its own unique way with achievements like being the only space organization to reach mars in its first attempt also setting a world record of launching 104 satellites on a single rocket the miracle of isro's performance reflects in the fact that its total expenditure in last 40 years has been off of NASA's yearly spending. India's mission to the Red Planet is an exceptional example of achieving success with minimum resource and optimal execution. ISR was able to send Mangalyaan to Mars on an average engine rupee 12 per kilometer which is cheaper than an auto rickshaw fare. As of now, India has launched 319 satellites for 33 different countries. These launching histories only illustrate the perfection in ISRO's execution. ISRO encouraged its team of scientists to become self-sufficient and develop in-house technology instead of depending on other countries. Today ISRO is capable of building a satellite from scratch and launching it from its own soil. Great personalities like Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, Dr. Abdul Kalam, senior scientist Dr. Arumudan, Dr. Homi Jahangir Baba are credited for taking ISRO to new orbits. We should be thankful to these people who made India proud and one of the most powerful country in the world. Jai Hind!